but more peaks of sunshine on the way as we get beyond your lunchtime hour. But right now, not looking the prettiest, not feeling the nicest out there. Still having temperatures in the 40s and lower 50s, but blanket of cloud coverage shrouding most of the area. Check out Bailey's Park looking a tad bit greener out there because of the rainfall we did receive all throughout the day. And here's that. Here's the last of the rainfall now impacting portions of the Great Lakes region. And right now we're still dealing with the aftermath of some cloud coverage that's going to be sticking around. But I do believe that's going to eventually break down for us as we get close to around four and five o'clock. I'm a bit optimistic when it comes to that, but I do believe we can get in to partly, partly cloudy to mostly clear skies by the time we approach the late afternoon into the early evening. High temperature of 57 degrees, 57 down in Lincoln. Looking at the upper 50s, Beatrice, Falls City, 54 degrees in Atlantic. So across the board, we're looking at unseasonably cool temperatures for warmer afternoon. We're looking at some lower 40s. Getting a jump start on your uh, a Wednesday morning commute. We're looking at 41 degrees around daybreak tomorrow. A few clouds sticking around with a southeast breeze about 10 to 20 miles an hour. So for your rush hour commute, a little bit similar to what we just experienced. Mostly cloudy start and those clouds are going to be sticking around throughout most of your Wednesday. Temperatures only moderating into the mid to upper 40s for your Wednesday morning drive time for your morning. Now let's talk about the afternoon. This is 2.30. We start to see a little bit more scattered rainfall activity beginning to move in from the west, but I do believe most of Wednesday throughout the daylight hours, at least for the Omaha Metro points off to the east, will remain on the drier side. However, down to the south and east, we start to see that rainfall begin to fill in a little bit more, especially as we get deeper, deeper into the evening, right into the early overnight hours for early Thursday. Here it is for midnight, pretty much lasting all throughout the morning, right into your daybreak hours. So waking up to a damp start for your Thursday morning. So about 100% chance coverage wide of, of rainfall. We catch a break for Friday and Saturday, Sunday, Mother's Day. Unfortunately, our long range model is illustrating another round of low pressure. This is Saturday throughout the afternoon. Take advantage of that because by Sunday morning, unfortunately, uh, we're looking at chances of showers and thunderstorms moving in just in time for our Mother's Day forecast. I do not believe it's going to last all day, but check out the temperatures. That is the silver lining to the forecast, although we have on and off chances of showers and storms. We're looking at 60s for Friday, 70s for your Saturday. Sunday, we're looking at a high of 80 degrees, upper 80s possibly wow. by this time next week. And for weather updates any 